Hey everybody, welcome back to the Electric Supercar Channel. So this week, um, I've still not heard anything about uh, boards or how to fix our inverter. So uh, I'm gonna work on a few other things and it is hot. It's like, I think it's supposed to get it to 102 today. So we're gonna see if we can do some things indoors. It's 113. I'm gonna go somewhere else. It's 120. These are on surfaces, so it's not air, but uh, definitely, definitely on the hot side today. All right, so trying to think about the other things to work on while we're sorting that mess out. So still waiting on a board or uh, further, further instruction on what to do. So um, I'm also going to be getting a stereo. So gotta make sure to that'll fit um, it's just a one din slot again I could uh, modify the fiberglass to make it like a two din spot but uh, I think I found a good one that's just one din I got to get all the wires run uh, I'm gonna do like backup camera speakers all that stuff okay for uh, those of you who don't know um, this car we're doing everything kind of from scratch so there is no electrical, uh, wiring harness, things like that. I'm kind of making it up as I go. So uh, a lot of this we've done in the past. So we got most things wired like lights, you know, headlights, horn, uh, things like that. Now we're gonna be working on the car stereo. All right, um, I got a car stereo. Uh, this is just a one din slot. It's a motorized that flips up. Um, rear view camera and some nice speakers. All this was less than 500 bucks. So now the question will be, uh, can we wire it all up and have it work? All right, we'll start with the uh, rear view camera. This looks like a video cable. There's your camera. And I guess power cable. All right, let's look at some of the instructions. All right, so the uh, camera install, so the power, so this cable, looks like you got a ground and then they want the red to go to the positive of the reversing light. So it, I guess the camera will only have power when you're in reverse. And then this guy, again, it's a video cable, but it also looks like it's got separate wire. So the trigger wire, so again, it wants the one of the sides, one of the red sides, the positive of the reverse. And the other one on the car stereo is reversing in. So that seems like it shouldn't be too bad, but you never know. All right, next is the speakers. So. All right, that was a tight fit. I had to use two hands. But uh, that's what it looks like. Again, I got a pair. So. Looks like it's got some speaker wires, some mounting hardware. Um, I don't see any instructions. Nothing in the box. Huh. Maybe uh, it's too easy. Just plug it in. I'll look and see if there's any uh, instructions. All right, so no instructions. Again, not gonna be super difficult, but it's kind of got your uh, one shield here. There's your speaker and then kind of a mounting plate. And you just have your two leads, I guess, that you uh, put your wires on. And the other ends will just go to your stereo. So probably shouldn't be too bad. Okay, for me, this was uh, probably the best choice for my application. Again, I just had a one din uh, slot. So it's got a motorized screen that comes up and it's got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and it can take uh, DVDs, CDs, things like that. So I think that kind of fit all my criteria, but uh, let's see what's inside. So 
whole bunch of uh, wires. Okay, so we got, I'm sure there's like a warranty or something. Limited warranty. And quick start guide. I don't know, more more information. So this is the wiring mess I've got at the back. Gotta figure out where everything goes. But I'm sure with some reading, we'll be able to get it done. There's the front. All right, I'm gonna kind of record as I am learning. So it'll be probably lots of starts and stops, but uh, so I got this uh, USB wire. So again, this will be, uh, you can plug into the back here on this side, and then uh, I can mount this in the dash of my car. Microphone goes here. All right, so maybe I'll just go left to right. Um, this plug down here, this yellow one, is um, for a navigation system, which again, I'm just planning on using like Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So I won't be using that. This is the mic. Um, this one here uh, is for, what is that one for? That one's for a wired remote. So. It comes with this wireless remote, but I guess uh, it's sold separately. If I want to get a wired remote and mount it in the car somewhere, I could do that. All right, this one is for like Sirius XM satellite radio. Uh, I won't be doing that one. And then some of these I'll be using, some not. So video input. Um, I can't think of anything where I'm actually going to connect a video input. Uh, this one though, this one is the rear camera in, so I will be doing that one. And then these are in pairs, so this is subwoofer output, this is audio input, what's that one? Rear output and front output. So there's all those. All right, uh, got a rear monitor output. This one though is an auxiliary in, so again, this cable's not long enough to go anywhere, so. I'd need another uh, cable kind of like this one, like an extender to go out to somewhere in my car. All right, uh, this one is for the antenna. I'll need to get one. So most cars obviously have one. So when this, you just swap it in your car, this will just plug in, but I need to get one. I think they're like seven to 15 bucks, something like that. So I'll grab one. And then there's this jumbled mess of wires. So I'll go through that as well. All right, so these wires, as I'm figuring out what they are, I'm labeling them. So, got a label maker. So that might be my tool of the week, we'll see. All right, so yellow here is 12 volt constant, black is ground, um, the red, 12 volt switched. So one, it wants power on all the time, the other one, it's just when your car's on. This orange and white one, um, I'm thinking this is the park lights, it says, uh, to lighting switch terminal. So I think this is maybe, you know, when you turn on your lights, how it dims things. I think that's what this one is, but we'll see. Um, this guy is the reverse input signal. All right, we got the uh, mute. So I don't know that I'm gonna use that one. All right, this, this green one, it goes to the parking brake. Now, therein presents a challenge because um, I opted for an aftermarket electronic parking brake that I'm pretty sure will give me troubles uh, with this system. So I went ahead and got one of these uh, micro bypass. Um, it's not so much to uh, like watch movies while I'm driving, but just to have the system work at all. So uh, we'll be that one. Uh, green goes to green, the black goes to black, and this blue goes to the blue and white one. Okay, and I think the, uh, so these are all just uh, speaker wires. And yeah, so we'll see what we can do to uh, wire things up. 
don't know exactly know if this will work, but it's time to give it a try. So I've got my uh, black negative going to ground. So I'm using this uh, power supply, 12 volts power supply. Um, so I'll hook it up and then uh, the first thing I'll connect is my 12 volt constant. And then we'll do the uh, essentially the ACC or 12 volt switched and see if we can get it to turn on. So if it turns on, then we'll kind of see uh, what what uh, what we can do. But I, I think from there we'll have to also connect speakers. We may need to connect uh, this bypass to get to certain menus and things like that. But we'll see we'll see how far we can go. Okay, so I connected the uh, 12 volt constant. Now we'll do the 12 volt switched. Oh, it's trying to open. Well, I'm gonna turn it off and on again just to uh, see if I can see it open. So that's off, that's on. So cool. Okay, so right now I just have just power. That's all that's really connected to it. And um, so it can go, it can do the radio tuner. Again, right now I don't have any speakers hooked up or I don't have an antenna. So that's not really gonna work, but it's got Bluetooth, Pandora, and this is just kind of a, a lot of the things you can get to. So I think this is what's on your menu screen, like the main menu screen. I'm sure I can shift it around. Anyway, I might wanna go see if I can hook up my phone. Uh, down here, the buttons are, you've got a microphone button. Uh, you've got kind of a, looks like a fast forward button, your power, or your, this is kind of your power knob, but also your volume adjuster. So the middle one is how you kind of get back home. That one pops up again, some of your controls. That's your back button. And then this is your open and close. We'll see if we can close this guy. And then this is eject. So again, this is your slot for CDs or DVDs and that's eject. So I'll start hooking up some of the other things. I'm interested in the uh, reverse camera, making sure I can get that going and then uh, the speakers as well. We'll go from there. All right, I just hooked up the uh, micro bypass here. Um, again, there's a dark blue wire that goes to the blue and white wire. That's your system remote control. Essentially, as I understand it, when this guy's on, this will send a 12 volt signal that you can use like to your power amplifier or other things. But uh, in general, I'm not a fan of these connectors. I'm kind of a crimp and solder guy, uh, belt and suspenders, but just for testing, um, we'll give that a go. Uh, the dark green one goes to this light green one, which is the parking brake. And then the black goes to your ground. So uh, I figure we'll take this stepwise. So before we got to power on, I wanna see if this uh, micro bypass switch will work. Let me see if I can play a, play a video. All right, so I think this is what the uh, micro bypass switch does, but uh, in order to do this, you're supposed to put your parking brake up and down and up again. All right, so it looks like it's working. All right, so next I'm gonna try uh, hooking up a phone. All right, I think I got this set up now. Uh, this is an old phone, it's, uh, anyway, it's all got cracked and the connection here is a little shaky, so I don't know if it'll be able to work or not, but we'll give it a try. We'll go ahead and navigate. So it looks like it works. So uh, it's working. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect and we'll try it again with a uh, iPhone. Okay, we're gonna try Apple CarPlay. We're going to allow. 
and there we go. All right, this one will be a test of the uh, rear view camera. Let's see if we've got it wired up correctly. So I'm gonna use this one and um, this will simulate kind of putting in the reverse. So I'll connect this one to um, some 12 volt power, which will kind of say like, hey, I'm in reverse and I'll see if the camera will come on. All right, here goes nothing. So the, that came on. I don't see anything up here, so I might have to figure out. Hmm. All right, hold that thought. All right, so let me back out of this real quick, but uh, what the issue I think is, is um, here in the tools, um, I've got this camera settings, and right now backup camera input is off. So we just switch that on. So let me try again and see if we get it working. Whoa, well, there you have it. Okay, so this is the wire that I'm probably least certain about, um, but it's talking about kind of like the um, instrument lighting or dash lighting. So I think this might just dim it. I'm gonna try it real quick here. I don't know, did that dim it a little bit? Let's try one more time. It's kind of hard to tell. I could, yeah, oh, it's a gradual dim. That's what it is. It's not just right away. So that's dimmer. So again, if you're at night and then take that off and it'll gradually light up. Sweet. So yes, that's what that one is. Alright, so last here we'll do, uh, we'll hook up a speaker, or maybe both speakers. Alright, so this is one of the speakers, and you can see the terminals, it's got kind of a one big and one small, and so that matches the wires. The wire um, just comes with one, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a big one, that's a small one. So you can't mess those up. Um, it's got white and white and black, and gray and gray and black and that corresponds with the speaker wires out of the unit. So that makes it nice. Uh, again, Pioneer, Pioneer. So um, I'll go ahead and hook these up and we'll give it a test. Oh, I guess I didn't even notice that, but the fact that I can hear it means the speakers are working. Sorry, I was just noticing as I was chatting, this is changing colors. So it kind of goes green, yellow, kind of red, cool, purple. All right, I think that about does it. I've tested, I think, all the wires that I will be using. Um, got the speakers working, I got the rear view camera working, I got the uh, dimmer working. What else? Um, yeah, the, I got the bypass, micro bypass switch working. So I think we're good. Um, the other thing I did, again, I'm trying to, as I learn, share with you, I'm definitely not the expert, but I find labeling the wires is great because not only now, when I'm pretty sure where things are, uh, when I disconnect things and go put them in the car, I'll also know. And then anytime in the future, uh, again, if I need to rewire something in the future, I will know. So for me, this is the tool of the week. I'll put a link in the description below. That's a lot of wiring. Excited to get that done though. Hopefully next week uh, we'll hear something about our board and can get this thing moving. That'll do it for this week. See you next week.